Hey food adventurers, Miss Jennifer here with lesson four of Growing Healthy Kids. Stand strong with stems. In today's lesson, you will learn to describe the functions of a stem and how they keep plants strong and healthy, identify stem vegetables that we eat, and try a stem vegetable using your senses. I'll share a delicious food hero recipe for you to try making at home. So let's get started. The last time we met, Miss Marson gave you all a mission. Do you remember what that mission was? That's right, your mission was to drink water when you are thirsty. Remember, water is an important part of your body and you should try to drink water whenever you are thirsty. When it's hot outside or if you are running or playing, it is especially important to drink more water to avoid becoming dehydrated. Mission accomplished. Great job, food adventurers. In Growing Healthy Kids, we have been learning all about the six parts of a plant. Today, we are gonna focus on the stem part of the plant. Stems have two really important jobs that help plants grow to be strong and healthy. Let's find out what they are. The stem part of the plant helps the plant to stand strong and tall. In this way, stems in the plant are like our skeletons, which help our bodies to stand strong and tall. But did you know that not all stems stand up tall? Can you think of some that don't? Some stems are vine-like. For example, watermelon and cantaloupe. Yet, all stems help move water and nutrients to all parts of the plant. In this way, stems are like the blood vessels in our bodies. Look at the inside of your wrists. Can you see the veins in your arms? They move nutrients in your blood around your body. Pretty cool. Elevator up. Try this fun experiment at home where you can watch and learn how stems move water and other nutrients to all parts of the plant. For this experiment, you will need an adult to help, celery with the leaves still on, a cup of water, scissors, and food coloring. A dark color like red works best. Fill your cup half full with water. Drop 15 or so drops of red food coloring into the water. Take one or two stalks of celery, cut off the bottoms, and place in your cup of red water. Check the celery over the next few days to see what happens. Can you guess what you might see? Remember, this is an experiment, so do not eat the celery when you are done, as it would not be food safe. Because stems are so tough, there are not many that we eat. While this helps most plants stand strong and tall, it also makes many plant stems too tough for us to digest. For example, we don't eat the stems of an apple or the vine of a cucumber. The most common stems we eat are asparagus, celery, and rhubarb. But did you know that we can also eat the stems of broccoli and cauliflower? And stems of some leafy greens like kale, collards, and spinach. How many of these stem vegetables have you tried? Eating stem vegetables is important because stem vegetables, like celery, contain nutrients our bodies need nutrients like fiber. Fiber helps to keep our digestive system moving. Here is a food hero recipe that you can try making at home. Lemony garbanzo bean dip. It goes great with stem vegetables like celery. Before you make this recipe at home, be sure you ask an adult for help 
and wash your hands by scrubbing for at least 20 seconds. This makes sure we get rid of germs that can make us or people around us sick. For the lemony garbanzo bean dip recipe, you will need garbanzo beans, also known as chickpeas, sour cream, lemon juice, oil, and seasonings like cumin, garlic, and cilantro. If you like spicy, try adding hot sauce. For a smooth dip, combine all of the ingredients in a blender and blend until smooth. If you prefer a chunky dip, put all of your ingredients in a large bowl and mash with a fork. Scoop a bite up with your celery stem and enjoy! You can find today's recipe on the Food Hero website. With the help of an adult, you can make this recipe at home and be a food adventure by using adjectives, the words we use to describe things to describe what you think this recipe looks like, feels like, smells like, and tastes like. When I tried this recipe, I thought it looked creamy, it felt smooth, smelled spicy, and tasted lemony. I wonder what adjectives you will come up with when you try this recipe. Food adventures, I have another mission for you. Your mission is to find and try a new stem vegetable. Remember, you can try it using any of your senses. Did you know that you can grow celery right here in Oregon? Celery grows best in cooler weather and is ready to harvest and eat from July to November. It needs fertile soil with enough nutrients and plenty of water to help make it crisp and juicy. You can learn even more about how celery grows by watching the Oregon Harvest for Schools video about celery. Find it on Food Hero. To find more information on gardening and the Oregon Harvest for Schools video, be sure to check out foodhero.org and click on the gardening tab. There you will find tips for planting seeds and fun activity sheets and videos on how you can grow your own garden at home. All right, food adventurers, great job today. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.